Well, this is... <laughs> this is... Hey, y'all, it's me, it's me, it's it, Manland, guaranteed. Me. This is his new setup. He's joining us Hamlet campers. He's getting off the ground as the dwell, ground dwellers. And he's enjoying yourself. Are you enjoying yourself in your new hammock, sir? I'm sorry, nobody home. Damn you, boy. <laughs> All right, this is Mr. Manland's new camping system. He's always a he's asking a lot of questions that us bushcrafters need to do before we go out in the middle of the woods in a blizzard and find out we're gonna die because we didn't bring enough equipment. This is his A-frame tarp system. We had to do some improvise with extra rope. And he was just concerned about rain and weather, so I showed him this little simple trick. Whippy doodle do, everybody knows something. It's hot as Hades under here. Yeah, when she opened some air. Yes, I forgot. We had it in, we had it in storm mode. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie and this is Mark D. Chandler. That happens to be amateur artist Mark D. Chandler. That's right, we're amateurs. We don't know shit. That's right. <laughs> if you know anything, you'd be bad. Alright, I'll see you in a few minutes. Oh yes, this is a shout out for Glock 17. He's a subscriber. Alright, this is a shout out for you, sir. I hope you hit all your targets. Alright, I'll bring your cookies. See you in the next part of this video. <laughs> different hammock styles you can get and buy or purchase. Hey, you're in the sun. Get over here where you can see. Oh, damn you, boy. So we're doing a chop shop of hammock style. Chop shop. Hammock style. So stay tuned. We're going to show you some hammock. All right. This is the first hammock. I'm going to show you. Now, we got flaws about it. That's when uh, Manland has an eating you two-person hammock. I'm going to show you that later on, but we know what this is all about. Just go over there, Manlands, to catch up on the other part of this first part we showed. So I'm, gonna, I'm just trying to catch up. Damn you, boy, I forgot to turn my camera on. Ray, that cookie is trying to catch up. Video. <laughs> so I'm going to try to catch up with the Manlands video. So jump over there and watch the first part of the Inu two man person, two person hammock. And now we're going to go from there to the one man hammock. Come on. What's the flaws on these hammocks? The emo hammock, ham, hammocks. They do not have a what? A, a bug net. That's right. So what you have to do is go out and buy you a good bug net. Ooh, it's black like Dracula's cape. Yeah. yeah. Now... Each bug net is made different. You can get different styles. This is the first time opening this thing, believe it or not. But there's a hole here. Ooh. And it goes through. This hooks up to your, your line. And on this side is your zippy. You unzip. And you jump in your little skeeter net, which is hanging over this. Ooh. Well, your bank line. You gotta have a little line going across. And this will take, protect you from the skeeters. So if you out there and you get one of those egos, make sure you get you a good skeeter net if you live in the swamps. So I just want to show you this, uh, this, this, this name, e please. E Eno, name. Eno. That's Eno too? No. That's an Eno. You know. Yeah, the so, other one's the equip. Equip. So, so maybe you go out there and get you a bug net. Now I want to show you my hammock that I just recently got. <laughs> Someone's in there. All right, and this is my part of my vest. Uh, vest. My vest. Vest equipment. 
and I'm gonna show you my vest uh, uh, hammock. All right, let's get that done. All right, we're gonna take down the $5 hammock that I got for $5 at Dirt Cheap. So if you got a Dirt Cheap near you, go check him out, because the GoPro that's recording this is a GoPro 4. I paid 175 bucks for that baby at Dirt Cheap. No flaws. I did a video, or I made a video with that camera. It's my giveaway update. Go take a look. And this hammock right here is my, uh, my vest hammock is lightweight. It's for one man, quick, easy, simple uh, hammock. And it's made by Grand Trump. And this is a good little tarp. I've been, I mean tarp, hammock I've been having for a long time with my vest. It's simple and easy. And it's a little smaller because You'll never know when you're going to find two trees far. So this is my uh, vest hammock. I want to show you the best hammock. So you still pick the one you like. We're back to the last. Uh, I have one more hammock. I don't know if I brought it or not, but this is a top, uh, hammock number. I think four. All right, this is the one with the skeeter net. Now, the reason why I like this one some of these ones with the skeeter net it only has one side zipper this one has two zippers that's what i like about this one if i can find it now i'm get on the left on the right side Wow, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, after I tie that up. Like I said, but even in the collapsed position, I don't see nothing wrong with that. It might get hot during the summer like we got. Well, at least I won't get bitten by a skeeter. I won't be able to see it on mine, but I'm going to raise this up. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I'm protected from the skeeters, and it opens up more if I had these tied up. And that's the uh, exit stage ride. Right. <laughs> and I can get out on any side. I get it. <laughs> now, <laughs> believe it or not, there's another hammock. One more hammock I do not, I did not bring. And I tell you one thing, you will not get in it. The jungle hammock. The jungle hammock will kill you. Look it up. I have one. And the jungle hammock, I would not recommend at all. At all! That's me. That's my personal opinion. My opinion do not count. So never that. Alright, um, there you go. That's going to bring in air. Open this up more. If I had another tent spake, I'll go right between here. And open it a little bit more and air flows better when it's open like this for a skeeter net i got another one that doesn't have this but it has a ridge line tied into it and it's not as cool as this one cooler yeah i can feel the difference it's much cooler And if the skeeters are not that bad, I usually keep these two open. And voila, I'm little. Never a good night's sleep is a thousand bucks to some people. It is to me too. All right, there you have it. This is the last hammock. There's one more hammock I do have, but I didn't bring. It's called the jungle hammock. You will flip in that one. Yeah, you will whoop. <laughs> it's made really weird. Ah! All right, this is Ranger Cookie, and this is.
Man land. <laughs> and chop shop with the chop hammock. shop. In other words, hammock wars. Hammock wars. So you give us a choice. Which one you really like the best? You like the Skeeter or the big two double wider or the one single wider? Actually, I kind of like that Skeeter net right there. Especially with these love bugs out and about. Oh, God. I hope we don't have that to run the boot too, too. Okay. All right. I'll see you all next video. I hope you enjoy Chop Shop. Bye bye Hammett now. Oh, yeah. Amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from and, Manland. And Ranger Cookie from, uh, we don't know where he's from. I'm from another planet, like yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Could be. <laughs> yeah, bye bye now. Bye bye. <laughs>
give us a demonstration how to put the hammock up. Because I learned from you, one of your videos, how you got your hammock, like, highs my head, straight as an arrow, and sit in it, and had the sucker hit the ground almost. So, Pocket Ridge, if you're watching this video, give us a head up. Get, I'm tagging you to do a hammock setup system for us. Yeah, that would be very, very helpful. And anybody else out there who's more or less rehearsed in this. Open just, tag, too. The way I was going to do it is pretty much like I did in the other video, generally. Wasn't absolutely correct, but we're out here trying this out. Is Once I get into the hammock and I feel comfortable, I'm going to leave it right there. But each time you set up, it's going to be different. All right, it says approximately 24 inches above the hammock, touch point. It's that's a little high. I mean, a little low. Yeah. That's about a foot, so I need to go up with it. You need to double that span. But if you reduce it, if you reduce this, it should drop it down. No, once I get in it, it'll drop it down. That's, boom, that's true. Boom, crap. <laughs> what happened? Did you slip? Yeah, the. It just tightened up. <laughs> it slipped, <laughs> and we weren't in it. <laughs> it's something. I know for a fact that you want to put your head to the highest point of your hammock so you won't have all your blood rush into your brain and get a headache from hell. That's good advice. I think I agree with that. So this is the... Uh, I like this one. This is the... Uh, equip. And I use the string and the belt system for my hammock. I actually, actually like this. Now, I'm protected from the bugs. And there's a little bug right there. And that's all I do. If the bugs are not really bad, I open both sides. I get air from both sides. And with this count in me, open it up, it gives me more air. Even though I close it or not, I get more air with this open. I can sure see that. All right, well. Well, Cookie, I'm going to end my video right now. Cookie may keep on recording here because i got another video to shoot. Cookie, I appreciate you. I really did enjoy this, this session of Chop Shop, uh, hammock version. I should say hammock wars. Hammock wars. Under the version of Chop Shop. And, uh, man, I, I'll tell you what. To actually see this many actual versions of a hammock is kind of mind-boggling. It is another type of hammock. It's the kind you set up in your yard. It's this open hammock, and it got bars on both sides. But you got to carry all that weight. It's yeah. only good for a car capping hammock. And I can see that it doesn't really have that low center of gravity like these hammocks are designed. That's more or less like uh, what you see on Gilligan's Island, you know, where Gilligan's constantly flipping out of his hammock. That's yeah. it. <laughs> That's the one. So this is the real deal here. This is the one that's safe. I'll tell you what, Ranger, once again, appreciate it, bud. All right. Well, hi, I'm glad y'all join us in Chop Shop of Hammock Wars. I hope you enjoy the next Chop Shop with me and the Grappy and Machetes. All right. Well, we're supposed to have been it last week, but you know how we are with time. We can't watch your videos. You don't have time. We got to work. So I love to watch your videos. I'm sorry I can't. But hey, I try. So join us in the uh, next segment of Chop Shop. Oh, my Y'all take it easy, take it care. <laughs>